Welcome to Cloud Dolls. I got a message from someone asking me to make a commission doll. Normally, I don't do that, but I like a new challenge. So, I said yes. The doll that I have to make is Ban from Seven Deadly Sins series. Ban is a very tall, muscular man with tan skin who possess a set of well-developed abdominal muscles. He has short, spiky, pale blue hair and thin black eyebrows and scarlet red eyes. On the left side of his jaw and extending down to his neck, he has a large scar given to him by Meliodas. I'm gonna use Deuce Gordon from Monster High. Of course, I think he's a perfect doll for this customization. I just have to take this awful skin snake from his head. I'm gonna use this yarn light blue with white on it. And for the clothes, I'm gonna use this synthetic leather in red color and some pins. First, I will sketch in a paper the pattern of the clothes. I cut them and I try on the doll to see if it's everything okay. I got some pictures for inspiration, for guiding. And the next step is cutting all my patterns. I'm gonna start with the panties. I needed two pieces of the same pattern. But before I sew them, I have to attach the pins with this tool. After the pins are attached, then I can sew it. First in the front and back side and then the legs. When it's ready, I just give it the final touches in the waist with more pins. Now it's time for the jacket. I already cut the pattern and I'm gonna sew it by hand in the shoulder, right side with right side and then the sleeve. But before I close the jacket, I also have to attach the pins. It's more easy to do that before it sews. After that, it's time to give it the last details. The worst time taking this snake hair awful from his head. I use my exact knife and I try to be very careful so I don't damage anything or don't cut myself or don't cut the doll with 100% acetone and a little bit of editing magic I clean his face. I send his body as usual to take the factory marks
and I clean everything with nail polish without acetone because acetone it melts the plastic and everyone knows that now that is ready I can use my Mr. Super Clear with my mask I give it three layers let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes and with the watercolor pencils and soft pastels I can start blushing the body I'm using uh, browns whites to make him more muscular And now with a red pencil, I give him his scar in the neck and face and I start sketching his face, layer by layer, until I get the opacity that I desired for him. Her personality is shown to be a passionate man. He takes actions based on whatever catches his interest, such as escaping from prison after hearing his captain was alive and trying to steal Meliodas swore a dragon and all he has a strange habit of making singing tones while talking which he developed as a young age after he was adopted by Shivago thought he can be selfish and greedy is also show to be caring which is shown when he rushed through Elaine to save her despite being a bad person. I know he has a tattoo of a fox in his bikini line in his left side. I search an, for a photo in the internet and I'm gonna copy. First I'm gonna sketch it with some watercolor pencils and then I go with a red acryl paint and give him the last details with white acryl paint in the eyes, eyebrows, in his tattoo. And it's time to finish the clothes. Because the jacket is very tight fitting, I'm gonna sew it directly on his body. For the hair, as I told you, I use some 100% acryl yarn, light blue and white together. I brush it with a pet brush and now with my hair straightener, I'm making him like this, glossy and straight hair. 
I will start slowly with hot glue. First I go around it and then in the middle. When I'm ready, I use hairspray to give him the pointy hair that he has. I printed some nunchucks in my 3D printer that I'm gonna sand it and prepare it to be painted with some dark silver acrylic paint. And then I will protect it with matte varnish. It's time for the shoes. I'm gonna use the shoes from a Monster High character. I'm gonna send it to take the design out with my Dremel and I will paint it the shoes with red acryl let it dry and also use the matte varnish. When everything is ready and I give him the last touch. With my black soft pastel I will give him some age to the clothes, to the shoes and to his weapon. And it's time for high lashes. I use doll eyelashes. This time I'm gonna use the white ones. I think they're really beautiful. And with my tacky glue, I just put them in place. I finish everything with my glossy varnish. And it's time to show you then from seven deadly scenes character i hope you like it i'm sure that my customer is really really happy with him i see you in my next video bye Claudia, geef het, geef het een stokje, geef mijn stokje, geef het stokje, is mijn, is mijn, is mijn, is mijn, kom, 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 Vasco, kom, Vasco.